At $350 per person, an airline anticipates selling 250 tickets for a particular flight. At $500 per person, the airline anticipates selling 200 tickets for the same flight. Assume a linear relationship between the cost per ticket C and the number of tickets sold X. Which of the following equations can be used to model the given information? Let's begin by writing the given information as ordered pairs. But because we're trying to write the cost C as a function of X, each ordered pair will be the input comma the output, which will be X comma C, or the number of tickets sold comma the cost per ticket. So if the cost is $350 per person, 250 tickets will be sold. The ordered pair would be 250 comma 350. Again, the first value is the number of tickets sold, 250. The second value is the cost per ticket. At $500 per person, the airline anticipates selling 200 tickets, so the ordered pair would be 200 comma 500. From here, our linear function is going to be in the form of C equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope or the constant rate of change, which in this case would be the change in the cost per ticket divided by the change in the number of tickets sold, and b equals the vertical intercept, which is also the initial or starting amount. So let's first determine the slope by determining the change in the cost per ticket divided by the change in the number of tickets sold. So again, for our linear equation, we'll have m equals the change in c divided by the change in x. To find the change, we'll take the values in the second ordered pair and subtract the values from the first ordered pair. So the change in cost would be 500 minus 350. And the change in x, or the change in the cost per ticket, is 200 minus 250. So simplifying, we get m equals 150 divided by negative 50, which equals negative 3. And the units here would be dollars per ticket. To understand what this means, let's write the slope as a fraction. We can write m equals negative $3 per one ticket which means if the cost per ticket decreases by $3, the number of tickets sold will increase by one. But now we know the slope m is equal to negative three. The next step is to find b, then we'll have our linear equation. To determine the value of b, we'll use one of these ordered pairs, perform substitution for x and c, and then solve for b. So because we know that m equals negative three, we now know c is equal to negative 3x plus b. Let's go ahead and use this first ordered pair. So we'll substitute 250 for x and 350 for c. So we'd have 350 equals negative 3 times 250 plus b. 350 is equal to negative 750 plus b. Adding 750 to both sides of the equation, we get b equals 350 plus 750, which is 1,100. Now that we know b is equal to 1,100, we now know the equation for our function. Our equation is c equals negative 3x plus 1,100. Looking at our choices, the correct answer is the second option. I hope you found this helpful.